Well, a settlement has been reached in the lawsuit brought up against Alec Baldwin up by cinematographer Helena Hutchins' family for shooting and killing Hutchins on the set of the movie Rust last year. Now, Alec, I didn't pull the trigger. Baldwin is now attempting to shift blame for Hutchins' death as potential homicide charges loom over him in Santa Fe County, placing the blame solely on the film's young armorer, Hannah Reed, for allowing a live bullet to end up in the gun. Like any egotistical Hollywood actor, Baldwin doesn't blame himself for anything. And Jen, in true Hollywood fashion, even a crew member's death wasn't enough to permanently cancel production. Of course, the show must go on. So now Rust will resume production this January with Hutchins' widower as a producer. Joining me now to help make some sense of this nonsense is country music recording artist Natasha Owens, whose latest album, American Patriot, dropped this summer. Be sure to check it out if you haven't already. Natasha, thanks so much for taking time to be with us tonight. And by the way, i got to point out your shirt, which I think part of our graphics are covering it. Uh, guns don't kill people. Alec Baldwin kills oh people. Thanks, Control Room, for fixing that so everybody can see that gem. Did you pick that up today, by the way? That's pretty amazing. <laughs> no, I picked it up last year when all of this happened. Donald Trump Jr. had him for sale. And, you know, we have to deal with things through humor, right? Because we live in a crazy world. I was just telling my uh, my director, if you're not laughing, you're crying. Uh, Natasha, what do you make of, the, of these latest developments here? I mean, you look at Alec Baldwin, and it seems like he just got an, uh, another liberal Hollywood elite uh, that's dodging responsibility for the death of Helena Hutchins. Do you think he's going to be able to pay his way out of this? I don't think so. Not this time. I mean, we live in a crazy world, so you never know. But he's saying the same thing he did one year ago, and he's not taking responsibility. You know, I've been around guns all my life. I live in Texas. We are surrounded by them. And one thing is for sure that when you look at gun ownership one-on-one, the, the buck falls down to the, to the gun user itself. You are to do several things. You are never to point a gun, no matter if it's safe or real, at anyone because you have to assume that it is loaded. And you also, secondly, need to check that gun. So there was a lot of hands in this, probably a lot of responsibility, but at the end of the day, he could have prevented it if he would have just done a simple safety check. You make a lot of sense there, Natasha. Sadly, you know firsthand about gun accidents. Can you tell us about it? 12 years ago, my dad was sitting at a table cleaning a Glock. The Glock has no safety. You can't see a bullet in the chamber, and the best way to clean it is to turn it upside down and pull off the slide by pulling the trigger. Once he pulled the trigger sitting at a table, uh, there was a bullet in the chamber and he missed the safety step and it hit him directly in the heart and we miss him so much but you know what it's not the gun's fault it was his fault for missing a safety check so alex you, you're talking to somebody that knows it firsthand and i pray that the hutchins family not only get answers but they get justice in this i'm so sorry uh natasha i mean what do you make of, of Russ resuming production now? I mean, after Helena Hutchins' death, I mean, especially we now hear her husband's going to come on board as a producer of the film. Well, I think that was probably the settlement that he got. And so uh, for his sake, he kind of he kind of really wished that the video, the, the movie would go good. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think it's just a, a ploy to keep going and to cover it up. And someone has to pay the attorney bills on this, right? So they have to have money generating and coming in. Natasha, do you think if this had been anyone else, say not a rich, famous, liberal actor, he'd be behind bars by now? Absolutely. Probably locked up that day. I truly believe that it was an accident, but I truly believe that it was a preventable accident. Someone put live bullets in that gun. Someone put live bullets in that gun five days before where Alex stunt double shot and live bullets came out. So this was the second time it happened. And where was the safety protocols? If it had happened to a regular blowjo that did not have the name of Alec Baldwin or the money of Alec Baldwin, um, justice would be much different. I agree. That's so true. Well, I, I certainly hope we do see justice for Helena Hutchins. And Natasha yeah. Owens, I really like you. I hope we'll have you back on the program soon. Thanks for joining Anytime. us. Anytime. Thank you so much.